Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'll be showing you how to work with CSS classes. So to begin, we have an HTML document in front of us with absolutely no CSS whatsoever. I've only got HTML code and we are now going to be working on adding the CSS. So a class is a way in which we can create a custom style sheet and apply it to a specific tag on the page. So for example, in this document, we may wish to make one paragraph a different color to another, or we may wish to have a border on one image but not the other. We can quite easily do that by using a class. So to define a class, it's a two-step process. In your CSS document, you begin with a full stop. This indicates that it's a class. Then we give the class a name. The name can be whatever you want it to be, but it just should not contain spaces or any punctuation marks. Uh, it is possible to use a hyphen, but no other punctuation mark is legal. Then we can define the background property and we can set the background to a background color of yellow. So now we need to decide where do we want to apply this yellow background color. So we'll go to the HTML and we pick a tag that we want to apply it to and inside the tag we add an attribute called class and we set the value to be yellow bg notice how that first paragraph has turned yellow now let's also apply it to the block quote so we'll say uh, class is equal to yellow bg and the block quote then also turns yellow now in my HTML, I also have a strong tag, which will make the text bold. I can then just add a class of yellow BG to that. And then it should also turn yellow. There we go. Let's do some more examples. Let's add a, a border on this first image. So we'll create another class and call it black border. And then we'll set the border to two pixels solid black. Then I'll switch to my HTML and I'll find the relevant image and then I'll add a class to the image of black border. Refresh and see how the border has been placed around only the first image in the document. Now it is possible to apply more than one class to the same tag. So for example, I could apply a black border to one of these paragraphs. You do this by putting a space in the existing class attribute and then adding any additional classes that you may want to apply. You can add as many classes as you want per um, tag. They just need to be space separated. So notice how the first paragraph now has a black border as well as a yellow background. And just to improve the look of that a little bit, we may just want to add a bit of padding. Let's say 10 pixels of padding all the way around. And it's done it, but only to the first paragraph. So that brings us to the end of our lesson on working with CSS classes.